Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how you can use arrays in C++. So let me show you how you can declare array in C++. But first of all, this is a good question, what is an array? An array is a variable which can contain more than one values or as the name suggests it can contain an array of values. Now let's see how we can declare array. It, the declaration is same as uh, the variable declaration for example int my array the name of the array and then you need to give how much or how many elements the array will contain so this square bracket this square bracket in this square bracket you need to define how many element this array will contain so for example i will define 3 here then C++ code will know that yeah I have assigned the or I have a place or I have reserved the three element array in the memory. So it will assign three spaces in the memory to your array right. Now in order to uh, initialize array or in order to initialize array with the values what you can do is uh, you, you can initialize arrays in different forms but the most basic form is called array initializer list okay so i will show you how you can initialize array with array initializer list just give equal to and then these curly braces and in this curly braces you can give the value of the array element by element now for example i will give the values 36 45 64 and I will close it so this means that my array contains three values and the elements of the array or values of the arrays are 36 45 and 64 so these three values are called elements of the array and there is something called index of the array which is the position of element in array and the position of element in array starts from 0, not from 1. So index of this array is, or index of this element is 0, index of this element is 1, and index of this element is 2. Now in order to print array, what you can simply do is see out, or in order to access the value of the array, you just copy the name of the array, give the square bracket, and give the index of the value you want to print right so now this means we have given here the element 0 we want to access the element 0 from the array and from here we can we know that 0th element or uh, element with index 0 is 36 so this should print 36 ideally let's build the program and let's see what happens I'll run the program and it gives me 36 that's true now for example I want to print 64 here the index of 64 is 2 right so I will write 2 here build the program and run it and you can see 64 is printed here now in order to assign values to array in a different manner what you can do is you can just assign values like this so you can just copy the name of the array just give this square bracket give zero and you can provide the value of an array for example 34 in this way also you can initialize the element of an array so this means that assign on the index zero the value 34 okay so you can do or copy and paste it three times and on the index 1 and on the index 2 we will assign some different value 45 64 and now for example I will run the program it will works as same as before you can see 64 is printed right now now if your array will contain more elements for example 10 elements and 20 elements 
then you cannot assign your array like this and you can also uh, it will be tedious for you to initialize your, your array with array initializer list so what you can do is you can initialize your array with loops also so how you can do it just give a for loop as i have shown you how to use for loop and just declare variable int is equal to 0 and the limit of the array for example my array will contain 15 elements okay so I will initialize my uh, i from 0 because index of array starts from 0, right? And then I will say if i is less than or equal to 14 because this is 15 and our index start from 14, then the value will go up to 14, okay? Including 15, we have including 0 we have 15 values right that's why I have written 14 here 1 less than this because we are starting from 0 and then I will say I++ plus plus, and then I will give these curly braces and in here I will say assign value of x so I will say x not x but i is equal to some value so what you can assign for example 67 and in order to print this value you can just write c out i and then you can just give some string and you can just give you can print the uh, ith element of the array like this and now when I run the program build it and run it you see here it's it has assigned some values I have I forgot to add handle and line so now it will be more clear so when I run the program now you can see here we have assigned 67 to each and every value in, in in the array. So in this way also you can assign value to the array. So I hope you have understood the basic concept of array, how you can initialize array and how you can assign values in the array. So that's it for now. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and bye for now.